Hi guys, I want to talk about teaching your dog how to stand on command. There are two different ways to do this. One is going to be in heel position and the second is going to be in front of you. So I always like to start my training from heel position. Most of your, your um, positions, sit down and stand, are going to happen in heel position. On occasion they do happen in front of you. Um, so we're going, I'm going to show you both today, but we're going to start with beginning to build an understanding of what stand even is from heel position. So step one, teach them to catch food from a dropped hand above their head. Perfect. Step two, get them to follow food. Oops, that one got dropped. Follow food from a cupped hand above their head. So healing forward and backwards. Yes. Healing forward and backwards. Yes. Those first two steps seem trivial and, the ne and, and not necessary when teaching stand, but they are. Because now I'm only going to move back one step and she follows. Okay, and the treat is being dropped to keep her head up. All right, so we're gonna do that again. Sit one, and we're gonna do it sideways so you can see her kick out. One step back, yes, very good. We do it again. Sit one step back, yes, and see how she kicks back. When you're in a competitive situation, you don't want your dog stepping forward at all when they hear their stand command, okay? So we need to get them to kick back or pop up, not walk forward at all. Okay, so sit, and now I'm going to just shift my body weight ever so slightly. Yes, very good. So it was just a little shift back. It wasn't a full step anymore, and now I'm going to give her an actual command, her command is not stand, it is feet. Yes, very nice. And now I'm gonna shift my weight even less and see if she understands. Feet, yes, that my knee even just barely moved. And now we're gonna remove all visual prompts. Sit, feet. I'm gonna let her think about it. And then I'll tell her, that's not it, that's not it. They're not in trouble. We're gonna give it one more shot. Feet. And then I'll shift my weight back. So she needed a little extra assistance with the, the weight being shifted back. So let's try one more time. Let's see if we can get a success out of her. Sit. Come here. Feet. Yes, that was good. So she's a little crooked. Feet. Yes. Super job. All right. So she's a little crooked. If you're concerned about being crooked, which if you're going to be in traditional AKC obedience, you should be concerned about being crooked. Then I would do this against a wall several times for them to know to pop out um, straight back versus crooked. So let's see if we can get one for the step. Feet. <sighs> she kicks back. Feet. Yes, that was excellent. We need a tuggy session. We need a tuggy session for that one. That was excellent. So now we really got to celebrate. That was an excellent success. <laughs> that was an excellent success. All right, so to get your dog good to pop up, do a pop up stand, in front of you, I always start with conditioning them to touch a book. Very good. So I'm going to release her. You're free. I want her to touch the book and line up. And at this point, I don't care that she sits because our goal is going to be getting her to stand on command. Sit. But I'd like her to be nice and straight. Nice and straight. Very good. And now I'll say feet. Yes. Sit. Feet. Yes. Nice and straight. The book helps her from taking a step forward. It keeps her from taking a step forward. The book keeps her front feet stationary, so she has to kick out her back legs. Sit. Good. Feet. 
Yes, very nice. Very nice. I'm just making my treats a little smaller. <laughs> so I'd even like for her to, when she SITs to bring her rear in a bit. Sit. Good. To keep those front feet stationary so she doesn't rock back. Feet. Yes. Super job. Sit. Bringing the rear in. I don't want her to bring her front feet back. Feet. Yes. Good. She anticipated a bit there. Sit. Let's fix that. Sit. That's better. Feet. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. So having them keep, yeah, get your bunny. Get that bunny. So having them, I want you to get this thing. I want you to get this thing. Thank you. So having them keep their front feet on a stationary object and them knowing that they must keep their front feet there will help them bring their rear in when they sit so they don't do a rock back. Um, so if they were in heel and they rocked back and put them too far behind you, get this thing. And it helps keep them, their front feet stationary so when they're in front of you, they can just kick their legs back into a stand position. And eventually you would just build distance because in some uh, branches of obedience, you need some distance between you and your dog when you give these commands. So then you would just work on distance, but get it clean and nice first.